Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Even though Robin Brown has everything she could possibly want in Sister Wives Season 19, she still plays the victim. Robin joined Cody Brown's polygamous family as the fourth wife. The other three were Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. Robin joined the Brown family after her previous marriage ended and her three children were born. The transition was difficult, and Robin frequently lamented that Cody's older kids didn't embrace her kids. She took up all of Cody's time, telling him that her small children needed their father to be around. Everything fell apart with Robin joining the family, and Cody's other marriages suffered as a result. Christine, Janelle, and Mary all departed from Cody. As of right now, Robin and Cody are a monogamous couple. Cody and Robin are learning what it's like to live together full-time since he has no other wives to date or places to hide out. After Cody's previous breaks, fans will experience Cody and Robin's marriage for the first time in season 19. Even though Robin has everything, she's still not content. Robin expressed her grief over Cody's previous spiritual relationships coming to an end. Robin had fantasized of having sister spouses to share her later years with, having been in a monogamous marriage before. When Mary, Janelle, and Christine departed, she felt abandoned. The Sister Wives season 19 trailer on TLC depicts Robin as having difficulty accepting her marriage as it is right now. She claims this wasn't how she expected her future to appear, and she has a serious appearance. Despite having assisted in the expulsion of Christine, Mary, and Janelle, Robin persists in her victimization. Robin informs Cody later in the teaser that she is losing respect for him. Although Robin is unaware of her part in the breakdown of their multiple marriage, she is blaming Cody for it. Robin and Cody's relationship was unbalanced from the beginning with regard to his past spouses. Cody left his family, which included a severely pregnant Christine, during their courtship. In order to go on dates with Robin, he drove for hours. Before being married, Cody gave Robin a kiss, and he assisted in choosing her wedding gown. When Robin joined a well-established family, she disregarded the limitations set by the other women. Robin felt unfulfilled even though she made sure she was Cody's top priority. She insisted that Cody assist her with their small children and pressed him to spend more time with her. In contrast, he had 13 kids from previous residences. Even though Robin has Cody full-time now that she removed him from his previous spouses, she is still not satisfied. It appears that Cody's efforts will never be sufficient. Robin is going to keep criticizing him and her situation. Despite losing her sister wives, Robin is still married and lies in a lovely home. When Robin had nowhere to live, her sister wives actually pooled the proceeds from the sales of their own houses to help Robin buy her own place. Coyote Pass, the family's land, is also owned by Robin and Cody, which has strained relations within the family. Cody and Robin own the land, which is linked to assets. Robin is in a far better situation than Cody's ex-wives, despite the fact that she doesn't realize it. Robin and Cody are lawfully wed. Prior to Mary's selfless act of divorce, Cody and Mary were legally married. This allowed Cody to marry Robin and adopt her children. All of this happened in season 8 of Sister Wives. Robin has a claim on Cody's assets as a result of their formal marriage. There is nothing that Mary, Janelle, or Christine can legally claim. Janelle acknowledged feeling irritated about being a well-educated working lady with significant financial difficulties when she broke up with Cody. She didn't trust Robin to handle the family's finances, which is why she had been cautious when Cody and Robin first got married. Robin keeps whining about how her family is falling apart. She says she's upset about being left alone with Cody. She doesn't realize how fortunate she is, though. Janelle, Christine, and Mary were left with nothing. Robin's victim mentality stems from her entitled attitude, yet it would be wise for her to consider how fortunate she is. When Robin doesn't get her way, she will cry. 
Robin was always crying and wiping her eyes with tissues when talking about Cody's failed marriages and the dissolution of his many family, but she never shed a tear. She manipulates people by acting like she's crying in order to win them over. Robin sobbed as she described how the COVID-19 virus sent her to the hospital. She didn't think her symptoms were that bad, but she still feared she wouldn't see her she had experienced a near-death encounter, which is disrespectful to people who lost loved ones in the pandemic. Although Robin seems nice on the outside, her remarks can be hurtful. Robin was younger and less plump than Cody's previous brides when she joined the family. Robin made a subtle fat-shaming remark to her sister wives, saying that Cody liked curvaceous women and she wished she was bigger. Robin appeared embarrassed by the number on the scale when the wives began a fitness journey together and were weighed in front of the cameras. Her sister wives, all of whom were heavier than she was, found this offensive. Robin and Mary seemed to be in tight, encouraging connection. Robin, on the other hand, grew more cunning as Mary and Cody's marriage deteriorated. Though it was in Mary's best interest to break free from Cody, she attempted to use guilt to persuade Mary to stay with the family. Mary felt sorry for Robin, so she turned on the waterworks. Mary stayed with Cody longer than she probably should have since her strategies were effective. When Mary eventually had enough, she called Robin out on her double dealing. Robin was a single mother of three who owed thousands of dollars in debt when she first met Cody. The family paid off what she owed in a few years. She had a supportive family and lived in a home that was specially constructed for her. Despite pretending to be the victim, Robin has created the ideal life for herself by taking advantage of the Browns. Robin needs to quit pleading for sympathy and start being grateful for her life if she hopes to ever be accepted by sister wise viewers. Cody Brown's relationship with Robin Brown, his last surviving wife, is suffering as a result of his three unsuccessful marriages. Robin voiced her displeasure with the state of affairs and laid the responsibility for it on her spouse in a recent Sister Wives season 19 trailer. He is ruining our relationship, 45-year-old Robin, revealed in a confessional. I feel like the stupid person who was abandoned. In the meantime, another scene saw Robin and Cody, 55, having a tearful talk during which he revealed to her that they have all betrayed me. I've lost my mind. Cody's four wives, Christine Brown, Janelle Brown, and Mary Brown, parted ways at the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023, respectively. In the teaser, he said, the dream of a big polygamous family is just shot. Cody's spiritual spouses were Christine, 52, Mary, 53, and Janelle, 55, despite the fact that Robin is the only one who was his legal spouse. In the latest teaser, all three women seem prepared to put Cody behind them. Christine said, I'm not going to be friendly. Janelle conceded, I don't really miss him. And Mary added, Let's just keep this between us. In 1990, Cody wed Mary for the first time. Janelle and Christine were the next to join the family. 2010 saw Robin take on the role of the family's fourth wife. In order to lawfully wed Robin and adopt her children from a prior marriage, Cody divorced Mary in 2014. Christine and Janelle have stayed close friends ever since the family split up, but their bonds with Robin and Mary are not as strong. The relationship between Mary and Robin also seems to be in trouble, as Mary recently acknowledged, saying, I don't know if Robin really wanted me to stay. I have the impression that she did want me to stay. I get the impression that she was depressed when she joined a large multi-generational family and had this thought. However, her acts did not correspond with her words. And Cody also told me that, the family had problems, but earlier this year, after Cody and Janelle Brown's son Garrison Brown passed away, they all presented a united face. In March, Garrison shot himself in the head and lost consciousness. Even though the family kept recording their TLC show after he passed away, the subject hasn't been included in any of the network's previously published trailers or teasers. 
After Garrison passed away, Cody and Janelle issued a joint statement. The dad of the family posted on Instagram, saying, Janelle and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown. He brought joy and brightness to everyone he came in contact with. Our loss will leave a void in our life that is so immense it will leave us speechless. Please respect our privacy and join us in paying tribute to his memory. The deceased was a veteran of the military who was On only Tuesday, 25 Christine years old. uploaded a video to Instagram. The celebrity talked about a plexus vitamin that can assist with fatigue. Christine talked about the product while filming herself in her living room. Her trim form was flaunted in a fitting pink t-shirt that was buttoned up. She had patterned pants on the bottom. She didn't wear makeup and very barely groomed her blonde hair. Christine's video showed off her flawless, natural skin thanks to the lighting. In her post, Christine also acknowledged that she was in pain. Do you feel lethargic in the afternoons? Are aches and pains causing you any trouble? She wrote a caption for it. You don't need to search any farther. You've been waiting for game changers like Active and Ease. Bit adieu to weariness and suffering. With her dramatic weight loss after divorcing Cody in November 2021 and becoming married to David Woolley again, Christine experienced major changes. The U.S. Sun exclusively disclosed in late March 2023 that Christine had been dieting to fit into her summer wedding gown. The TV celebrity was concentrating on losing even more weight for her big day, according to an individual close to her. She exercises daily. The source reveals she's like really committed to the hot mom comeback thing. She's happy with how far she's come, and David Woolley thinks she's perfect. The celebrity told her admirers about a new professional direction in this post. Christine shared some wonderful news with Sister Wise fans last week. She and her husband David own a home in Moab, Utah, which is for rent via Airbnb. After Christine shared a picture college she had created using newspaper clippings from Sister Wives, fans flocked to Reddit to attack her. The picture frame held large pictures of Cody. To start with, the board looks terrible, but more importantly, why are you taking advantage of your miserable marriage when you are purportedly happy now? Someone said, go on and let the past remain in the past. While staying at an airbed and breakfast, why would anyone want to look at some old newspaper clippings put on a piece of cardboard like some kind of school project? It's peculiar, said another. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates. Christine is totally dependent on the Sister Wise brand, as are a handful of her kids. That won't alter, remarked a third. Regardless of what Christine says about moving on, Cody continues to live rent-free in her head.